is what I have to say. And I say this, if Ben Shapiro, if Mark Levin can say the things they're saying on their podcasts, which is vile and disgusting, then I have the right to oh, speak my mind too on YouTube. I have the right to do that. I have a different opinion. And again, I reiterate, I will never let anybody tell me who I am. I will never let anybody define me in any way. Especially if it's a mister like Mark Levin acting like a neurologist. And booking no criticism, somebody has to push back on these people. Somebody has to do it. And I have the right to speak my mind on YouTube. This is my mind speaking as an individual man. I claim my freedom to express myself in the way I want and I need to express myself. If you listen to a Mark Levin, if you listen to a Ben Shapiro and hear what they're saying, then I have a right to express my opinion too. I have the right to critically challenge what they're saying. And I do and I will. Doesn't matter. My voice will must be heard. I'm expressing my opinion. Which has relevance. You can't just sit around and listen to a Mark Levin pontificate. And say what he says. And draw the conclusions that he draws. And hate Bonga like he does. And an idiot like a Ben Shapiro, Jesse Waters, and all their ilk talking. And nobody pushes back on them. Nobody confronts them. Nobody encounters them. Encounters them. What kind of a world am I living in? That's what I gotta say. This is my speech. This is when I say what I need to say and present my voice. It's a small, tiny voice. Small, tiny voice. But I claim the right to say what I need to say. Notice I don't use any profanity. I'm just talking to a man, a man to a man. I don't need any profanity. When I'm talking about the ilk of a Mark Levin, just listen to him. Don't take my word for it. Just listen to him, and then you'll know. And if he can say what he says, Ben Shapiro can say what he says, O'Reilly can say what he says, with pomposity and arrogance, then I have the right to say what I need to say. I claim that right. I claim that right. Somebody has to say something. Again, I reiterate, Kamala Harris must push back immediately, vehemently, against what Trump and Vance represent. And I have the right to say it on YouTube or anywhere else. That's my voice. That's my freedom. And I claim it. I claim it. I yell it from the rooftops anywhere. But if I want to assert myself, if I want to express my opinion, I will do it. Nobody should censor me in any way. This is my position. This is what I think. This is what I feel, and I will say it. If Mark Levin can say what he says... He's not a neurologist. If God had it, he can do what he's doing. He's just a stooge. Then I have the right to push back on what they're doing. I claim my right to push back on what they're doing. Period. That's all.